So once I've created a class, it'll appear here. And to create a class, I can click Create Class, go directly and work with workspaces without having to connect to a class. I'm going to go into my World History class. So your default tab is your class list. You can see which students are online or offline. You can go back and switch your class, or from here you could edit your class list and class name. Your second tab is Create and Share. This is where you can create a new workspace or share something that you've pre-created. So for example, if I wanted to share out this workspace with my class, I would select it, click Share Selected, and it'll bring up my list. I can decide if I want to share with the whole class, or if I want it to personalize my instruction, I can share with individuals in the class. I have the option to pull the students into the workspace, which will bring up a notification on their device and open it for them. Not only can I share workspace files, but I can share any file type that's stored in my drive. So here would be a PDF that I want to share with the class. I would select it and again, same options to share. If something was shared back with me, it'll appear in my tab. So if an individual student decided to share something out with me, um, I'll get it here and it'll show the name of the student that shared it. With our handout copies feature in the workspace, you're going to find it'll create new folders here for you. So for example, if I did a group project and I handed out copies to a group, it'll automatically hand in their group work and name it after the group. If I handed out a copy to individuals, I'll see which student it was in the folder. For the assessment tab, I can see instant assessments here. So I just did a quick homework review poll and I can see who, you know, as results come in, who's answered yes that they did do their homework. And at any time, I can throw out a new question. This is also where I can view the class results and performance over time. So if I click this option, I can see all of the assessments that we've taken in the class and the class average, as well as individual student performance. If I wanted to drill into a specific quiz, I would just click on the title and it'll bring up each question and how each student did. If I wanted to drill into a question to see why, for example, the students did not understand or what I needed to work on, just click on, click on the question number and you can see. And you can always page through each question as well. On the student side, students also come in and can see who is in the class and who's online or offline and they're able to go switch their class. They can also create a workspace or share out a workspace that they've created with their classmates to bring them in for a collaboration. On the assessment side, this is where an instant poll would show up if the teacher was to push one out to them. And this is where they can go click to see their class results. So they would get their class average and how they were doing over time. They're also able to go ahead and look at individual quizzes and see per question how they did. So it could be a great review exercise for them.